So longitudinal and transverse waves are involved in an earthquake. When an earthquake occurs, two types of waves travel away from the epicentre. The primary waves, which are longitudinal and travel the fastest, and the secondary waves that are transverse. By recording the difference in arrival time between these waves, scientists can work out exactly where the epicentre of the earthquake was. Scientists actually need recordings from three seismological stations to work out exactly where the earthquake is. Each of those seismological stations will tell it how far from that station the earthquake occurred. And so you can use the intersection of the three readings to work out exactly where the epicentre was. Thunder and lightning works in the same way. As lightning travels faster, light has a much higher velocity than sound. We see the lightning before we hear the thunder, and the difference in arrival time will give us an estimation of how far away the storm is. Here's a question. A seismologist station receives S and P waves from an earthquake, separated in time by 17.3 seconds. Assume the waves have travelled over the same path at a speed of 4.5 km per second and 7.8 km per second. Find the distance from the seismograph to the focus of the quake. 